the problem of stress has become so acute, so severe, so chronic, so toxic, and everyone is aware of it. The amount of research in top referee journals on meditation in general and transcendental meditation to prevent and address the problem of stress is so significant, it's been a game changer. Here we have brain waves seen during transcendental meditation practice. Notice the waves are going up and down together. You see the rising and falling are very similar. This is something called coherence. Now let's look at EEG in real time. What we're seeing is Dariana's EEG from the two frontal leads. Uh, these are the two leads you see and the first two rows. The bottom line, which is looking at coherence, is highly variable. Coherence, again, is how different parts of the brain are working together. In this case, it's the frontal areas of the brain. It's the part of the brain that's central for executive processing, for impulse control, for sense of self. So you can close your eyes and start your TM practice. The brain begins to integrate the restful alertness of pure consciousness into daily life. You're transforming the inner nature of the mind. By changing your inner nature, you can begin to see problems as challenges rather than as stresses. The amygdala is part of our, the brain's threat detection system. And when the amygdala senses threat, it will start your fight or flight response, your stress response. And when you're in your right mind, what happens is your prefrontal cortex will regulate the amygdala, it will calm the amygdala down. And the major point about adolescent brain is that this prefrontal cortex is very slow to mature. And it progressively comes online, and so much of the transition between being a kid and being adult is this unfolding of the prefrontal cortex. I've been following people's attempts to apply brain research to education for 40 years now. And by far, the most common implication is that the optimal internal state for learning is relaxed alertness. It's just the way our brains work. When we're stressed, we respond instinctively. We aren't supposed to learn, and we can't. What we know in, in relation to learning, if young people meditate, it works. When you're less stressed, you can focus better, you can resist distraction better, and when you have this increased coherence in brain functioning, you can organize your thinking better, your sense of priorities is better, you can integrate information better. One of the really important things from my point of view is there's also a significant reduction in emotional reactivity. And when I talk with kids, one of the things I really emphasize with them is the need to build their stress tolerance, their ability to manage themselves in stressful situations so they don't quit or they don't freak out. The research on it is showing where kids are meditating twice a day in school, improvement in all kinds of important areas. And it seems to me that given what we know about what TM can do to improve the lives of young people, I think it's cruel not to teach it to them, at least give them a chance to do it.